Let's look at another example of how we can do calculations with information about a unit cell. Polonium crystallizes in a simple cubic cell and has an edge length of 334 picometers. What is its density? The first thing we need to remember is the definition of density. We know that density equals mass over volume. So to find the density, we're going to have to know both the mass and the volume. And we are getting enough information and we can get enough other information from the periodic table to find this out. So the first thing we want to look at is the mass. Now you could start with the volume, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to start with the mass. And what I look at is what information I know about the amount of substance that's in this cubic unit cell. Now because it is a simple cubic unit cell, that tells me that what I'm dealing with is a unit cell that contains one atom. Because my cubic unit cell has eight corner atoms, each of which count one-eighth towards that unit cell, so I have a total of one atom. Now, I can use Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole. Atoms cancel with atoms. And then I have my moles to grams because I know the molar mass of polonium is 209 grams per mole. And my units of moles cancel out. Now I can solve for my answer. So 1 divided by 6.022 e to the 23rd times 209. And that's equal to 3.47 times 10 to the minus 22nd, and that's in units of grams because that's the only unit that did not cancel out. Now I've got my mass, now I need to find the volume. Now we're given an edge length of 300 and 34 picometers. Now typically densities are given for solids in grams per centimeter cubed. So before I convert this to or find the volume from this, I'm going to convert it to centimeters. So I know that I have 1 meter equals 1 times 10 to the 12th picometers and I have 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. Now if you want to do this in one step, that's fine. I just show it in two just to make it a little quicker because um, I don't have to worry about what the conversion factor is between picometers and centimeters. So I have picometers cancels with picometers, meters cancels with meters. Now I can do my calculation, 334 divided by 1 e to the 12th times 100, and I end up with 3.34 times 10 to the minus 8th centimeters for my edge length. Now what I need to do is find the volume and that's simply going to be the cube of that number, so the edge length cubed. So my volume will be equal to 3.73 times 10 to the minus 23rd, but now my units are centimeters cubed because I took the cube of that edge length. Now we can use the grams and the volume to find the density. So now I have my density equals mass over volume. Density equals 3.47 times 10 to the minus 22nd grams over 3.73 times 10 to the minus 23rd centimeters cubed. And I can do my calculation to find the actual density. And what I get is that my density is equal to 9.1, oops, not it would be 9.20 when I round the correct number of significant figures, grams per centimeters cubed. And for a metal, this is a completely reasonable density.